Joining me now is a former Prime Minister of Ukraine, Arseniy Yatsenyuk. Uh, very good to talk to you, Mr Yatsenyuk. And share with us, first of all, what must be your sense of outrage at President Putin of Russia murdering Ukrainian civilians today and then calling Ukraine the terrorists? He is a liar. And, and deception and lie, that's his normality. That's Putin's normality. What happened in Ukraine, you know, that this is an outrageous uh, act of war crimes committed personally by Putin and by his uh, military officials and actually by those Russians who support Putin. And, and I don't know how many, maybe 50, maybe 70 percent of Russians, they do support both Putin and the war, this, this inhumane war that he waged against Ukraine. Uh, so um, uh, he is the terrorist, uh, he is the liar, and he is to be brought to justice. And this is the biggest, you know, question for me, because I was looking uh, the way how everyone responded uh, to these atrocities committed by Putin's regime in the world. Uh, and I do appreciate that everyone from the free world condemned this. But except condemnation, we need a clear-cut, strong and bold actions against this dictatorship empire. I want to talk more about the bold actions in a moment or two, but let's just follow the path of escalation, which this clearly is. And uh, President Putin uh, saying today also that more such strikes can and probably will follow. He is definitely to escalate. And the problem uh, is very clear for him personally because he is losing on the battlefield. Uh, he didn't expect this kind of strong Ukrainian military and this kind of very strong joint united response of the free world. Uh, he didn't expect the sanctions will be imposed and uh, that the West will supply heavy weaponry to Ukraine. Uh, and he didn't expect this kind of very high morale and strong durability of Ukrainian military and of Ukrainian nation and of Ukrainian people. Uh, so he's losing on the battlefield. Uh, on, the, on, the, on the other hand, he do really has uh, problems inside Russia because there is a discontent. Discontent uh, inside his inner circle and discontent between both hawks and uh, Russian population, those who strongly believed that uh, Russia is so powerful and uh, military capable of taking over Ukraine in just uh, a few days, uh, that they actually got that uh, that's not true. That what is really happening on the ground completely contradicts to the picture uh, aired by the propaganda Russian um, communication system and Russian uh, TV propaganda. So that's, that's the second problem. The third one is that, uh, uh, look, he's under pressure, except this kind of discontent uh, inside uh, his inner circle. He's under the pressure how to hold to the power in Russia. Because for him, for Putin, this is an existential issue. This is win or die. The same for Ukraine and the same for the free world, whether we will win or dictators will win. Uh, so uh, as I say, win or die, die in terms not only of political uh, asset, well, but in, in, in terms of physical too. Well, on that pressure that President Putin is under and the path of escalation, how much do you fear and what should the response be if heaven forfend it happens, if he goes for the ultimate option, the nuclear option, he's threatened it many times now, those around him are, are threatening it. Do you think it could happen and what should the response be? Uh, my direct answer, whether he can resort to nukes, yes. Uh, as of now, he actually has a kind of temporarily different playbook. Uh, so he decided to escalate and uh, it's more than a dozen missiles that struck uh, around 20 cities in Ukraine. So the key target for him was uh, so-called critical infrastructure. So we expect to have blackouts uh, around the country. Uh, this is called an urgency uh, rationing electricity uh, orders. But uh, in the end, it's actually blackouts. And uh, both hospitals and uh, a number of civil objects, they are in jeopardy. But uh, I strongly believe that we will cope with this. Uh, in any case, he is to escalate. And uh, the more territory we uh, will reclaim, 
and I strongly believe that we will reclaim an entire sovereign Ukrainian territory. Uh, the higher chances of Putin to resort to nukes. So it means that there is no other option for the entire world and uh, uh, for, for everyone who wants to preserve peace and stability, including China and India. And I want to be very clear about this. Because otherwise, uh, uh, they align themselves with uh, this dictator, not just to warn Putin, but to be very clear and to spell out all the consequences that Russia and personally Putin is to face in case if he press the button and use nukes. Uh, and in terms of nukes, and no doubt that he will... He won't resort to ICBMs, I mean to strategic weapon, but he's definitely considering an option to use tactical one. The reason why he's talking about this is to intimidate us, to stop the supply of weaponry, to sow the panic in Ukraine, in Europe, mm. and in the entire world. The main fear is fear itself. We are not scared. And in the short term then, in the light of these missile attacks, drone attacks on city centers, presumably one thing you would need much more of right now is the sophisticated air defence systems that many NATO countries possess as quickly as possible. Absolutely. And the S administration already announced that they are ready to deliver uh, Hamas. This is an advanced uh, anti-aircraft and anti-missile systems. The same goes with the Germany. So uh, the thing is that we need to get it on a fast track. The quicker, the better. Because it's all about the life of, of Ukrainians. This is about the life of innocent people. Because every single minute, every single day, uh, this Nazi-style ruler Putin, he's killing in Ukrainian people, innocent people. So, uh, and uh, I do commend the efforts of the Western government to provide actually uh, a shield against the Russian mis missiles in terms of uh, anti-aircraft and anti-missile uh, advanced systems. And just lastly, um, would Ukraine consider retaliating on Russian territory, given these are attacks from Russia into Ukrainian centres in some other wars? Then other cities are targeted. The, uh, the, the opponent's cities are targeted. It's up to the Ukrainian military and to Ukrainian political leadership to decide. But if I were in the government, I would definitely retaliate, period. OK. Arseny Yatsenyuk, very good to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. For Take care.